Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we will see how to use the toggle element in Elementor. So here is the example of the toggle widget. So you can use this toggle widget to show the frequently asked questions section on your website. Whenever someone clicks on the first item, it will get open and people will see the answer to that particular question. In the second part of this video, we will see what is the difference between the toggle and accordion widget. Here you will see the toggle widget and here you will see the accordion widget. So we will see what is the basic difference between the toggle widget and the accordion widget. So let's start with the video. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and on this website we are using Elementor Page Builder. Now in this video we will see how the toggle widget works and we will also see what is the difference between the toggle widget and the accordion widget. So let's start with the toggle widget. I'm on the demo page. I'm going to add a new section here. It will be full width section. Let's add some padding to the top and to the bottom. Now click on the plus sign and search for toggle. So here you will see the option toggle. Click on this element and drag it and drop it here. Now this is the default layout of the toggle widget. Now we are going to add some content and after that we will customize this toggle widget and we will change the style settings of this toggle widget. So this is the first toggle item. So here you will see the title and the description of the first toggle item. So basically you can use this toggle widget to show frequently asked questions. For that kind of section you can use this toggle widget. So let me add some title here. So I'm going to use the question and answer for this toggle widget. So this is the first question and in the description box you can add the answer. So you can see that this title is the question and this description is the answer for this question. Now you can minimize this one go to the second toggle and here you can add second question and here you can add second answer. So let me get the question and answer. So I'm using some dummy content for the question answer. Now, If you want to add more item, you can simply click on add item and it will give you another option to add the question and answer here. Let me add one more. So what I have here is four question and answers. Okay, now let's close this one. Now here you will see the icon settings. So this is the icon, you will see the right icon, the right arrow icon when the toggle item is closed and when one of the item is opened, you will see this top arrow icon. Okay, now we are going to change these icons. It's not necessary. If you want to change, you can change them. So when I click on this icon, you can see the box is popping up from here. You can change the icon. So this is the current icon chosen. So if you want to change here, you will see many different options. So let's see, I'm going to use this one. Select this one and click insert. So you will see the change in the icon here. And this is for the active icon. Now here you will see this active box. If I close it, it is not active. Now this one is active. So let's change the icon for this one also. So this is the current icon. I'm going to use this one. Click on insert. Right, so we have changed the icon. Now we are going to change the style settings. So click on the style. Now here you will see the border width. Let me increase it and you will see the difference. This is the border. Let's see, when I increase it, you will see the difference here. So I'm going to keep it on one pixel only. And this is the border color. If you want to change the border color, you can change the border color. Now this is the space between. You will see the space between this border and this text or the content. So I'm going to use let's say 10 pixel for the space between and this is the box shadow. So if I enable it, you will see the shadow here. Let's see how does this look. 
So this is how it will look. You will see the shadow around the boxes. So I'm going to use this box shadow. Now this is for the title. Here is the title. Now let's change the background color of the title. I'm going to use this dark blue. Uh, this is the color of this content, the title. I'm going to make it slight change. All right, and this is for the active. You see this green color is for the active. I'm going to change that one also. All right, so we have changed the background color, the active color and the color of the title. Now this is the typography. I'm going to change the size. Let's say I'm going to use 23 and width will be 400. Let's change it to 22 or 21. This one looks good. Now, if you want to change the font type, you can change the font family also. So here you will see many different font families that you can choose. Text shadow, I'm not going to use it. If you want some padding, you can use the padding. Now let's go to icon. So this is the icon. Now alignment, you can change it to the end or to the start. Color, so this is the color. If you want to change it, you can change it. I'm going to use, let's say yellow color. And for the active, I'm going to use a red color now this is the space between the icon and the content the title now this is for the content background color this is the content so when I open it you will see the content inside so I'm going to change the background color to slightly pink and the text color I'm going to use dark black change the font size to let's say 19 if you want to change the font family, you can change that too. So these are pretty simple settings for the toggle switch. Let's update this page. Now let's view the page. So this is how the toggle will look. When you click on it, it will open it. When you click on it again, it will close. Now let me add the accordion widget just below this toggle widget and we will see what is the difference between accordion and toggle widget. Let's add some space and let's add some title. This is for the accordion. All right now search for accordion. I have a separate video on how to use the accordion, different accordions. Here you will see the basic accordion. This one is created by EKIT, that is Elements Kit Light plugin that I added as an add-on. So I'll give you the link in the description box. You can check that video also. Now I'm going to use this one, the basic accordion that comes with the Elementor. Now you will see both look similar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some content here. So I have got some content for the accordion. I have got three accordion items here. So let me, let's change the style so that you will see the difference there. I'm going to use the black background here. So I'm not going to change all the settings. So let's see, let's update this one. Okay, now here you will see, this is the toggle and this is the accordion. Now let's go to the page and refresh it. And you'll see the difference between these two. So now when the page is loaded, you will see that all the toggle items are closed and in the accordion the first item is open so this is the first difference between toggle and accordion whenever the page is loaded all the items of the toggle are closed and one of the item of accordion is always open when i click on one of the toggle it opens that content if i click on the second one it will open that content if i click on the third one it will open the content of the third item and the fourth one also so all the toggle items can be opened at the same time so it, they will remain open unless we click on this one so if i click on it again it will close it otherwise it will remain open now let's go to the accordion and i'm going to click on the second item 
and you will see that the first item gets closed automatically. If I click on the third one, the second one will get closed. Similarly, when I click on the first one, the third one will get closed. So at a time, only one accordion item will remain open. And if you click on another item, the previous one will get closed. So this is the basic difference between the accordion and toggle. So you can use any one of these elements according to your requirement. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.